Hi, this is BB. It's about 2.15 now on the 29th in the morning. I went to sleep maybe like around 12. I think around 12. I have a video. Unless there's a time change. Maybe is there a time change? I'm not sure. Let me see what time it is. Hold on. Actually, it says 4.17, so... Um, I guess I slept longer than I thought. See, I knew this was too good to be true. I came home from work, I was tired, slept. Had my thing on. I'm going to turn that briefly so you can see it. That was on. And... fell asleep and yesterday was bad with the radiation really really bad really really bad the night before and yesterday was bad with the radiation and you could feel it crawling you're you vibrating all over this burning just beneath the skin in the flesh itself What I believe it is, is, is radiation, is, is graphene, you no, know, I don't want to use the word, it's G-R-A-P-H-E-N-E, because -E. again, apparently that's a word that's now taboo for me, for me, on uh, YouTube, they're censoring that word, it's a word, it's just a substance, it's not a controlled substance, but you can't, you're not allowed to say graphene, or write the words graphene. You're not allowed to say it. It's like a controlled substance. It's not. There's videos with it all over. People have videos showing. Who, who are not um, scientists. They're not doctors. They're not like somebody who would have... You have to have some kind of legal right to have the substance. I don't know. People are experimenting with it all over. Just, just, just like they're amazed by its reaction to elements, heat, cold, cell phones. On the way how it reacts, it's moving. If you put a cell phone near it and you turn the cell phone on, it starts to move and claw. Like it's being attacked. It's like it's being attacked. And it's fascinating to watch. But can you imagine if that were in your skin? And there was somebody outside, any cell phone that you were around. Heaven forbid you were around two or three cell phones. You, that will fuck you up because that will be moving under your skin. There's, there was nothing, it wasn't plugged into anything. It looked like, it looks like black cotton candy. A little, uh, the, 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 the substance is a little coarser than that. It looks like black cotton candy. And it's all over your skin. The problem with that is it is a substance. It's not, a, it's not something that... Um, it's something that's there. And it's like... And my, my belief is it can absorb things. And if they were to put that all over your body, like inject a little bit of it all over your body, especially in your, if it gets into your respiratory system, into your nose, into your ears, gets all over your body, and they're having something that, that was cell phone nature, but in a, 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 the radiation or the EMFs are in larger quantities or larger forces, what's going to happen to that person's body? Especially if they put it in your head, what do you think is going to happen? Now, in my belief system, this headache that we're always getting What I believe happened to me is people are following it like, like they're either in your basement or in your attic and there's mag I believe it, it reacts to magnets as well. So if they have magnets and this have this this is gonna be pulled to the top of your head all the time. Especially if they put if they will put it somewhere, like keeping it at the top of your head. I don't know where it's supposed to go. But it's like it gives you a headache all the time. I don't know. 
I have a belief system that's what it is, and it it it, it because I feel like my nose is, is like it's in the, it's, it, it just feels like it's retracting all the time, like it's being squeezed all the time. There's no one there. There's not a ghost. There's not an invisible man or woman. It's not God or the devil. You eliminate those two. It's not a spirit world doing this. It's, it's evil fucking pigs doing this. Evil fucking uh, uh, human pigs doing this. Like I've said, if you notice the Bible, the Bible writers speak a lot about Satan and being influenced by Satan. But every time God himself spoke, according to the Bible, God himself spoke. And he spoke a lot. He chastised the Israelites a lot. He never said at any point in time, say, well, you're letting Satan make you do this, or you're letting fallen angels make you do this or do that. Now these... These things are written as being coming from the big guy or creator himself. He always accused them directly. Well, did I not do these things for you? Because you always ask him for stuff. Did I not do these things to you? Why for you? Why are you so disobedient to me? Why are you, you know, you're acting almost like a child talk, like a father scolding his child. He never said, well, the neighbor made you do it, or Satan made you do it, or some fallen angel made you do it. No. He scolded them as in they disobeyed him. They had to take responsibility for their actions. They had to take responsibility for their action. They had to. He scolded them. He scolded them for being who they were at that time. So, it's human beings doing this. It's not angel or fallen angel. As much as they would like to cop well, they're being possessed, they still have to participate in it. We're all being influenced by either God or by negative things. Not all of us do this. How come? Not all of us want to do this. How come? Not all of us takes other people's stuff on a massive scale. And want to kill us for it. T kill other people that want to kill them for it. How come? We all could do it. But we all don't want to. Because we're not letting ourselves be influenced by that type of negativity. We have self-control. It's not like the evil is knocking us out and clubbing us over the head and pulling us in a cave and forcing us to do things. It's not happening. People force people to do things. People are forcing each other to do things. Human beings. That's human evil. But anyway, my point of making the video is I woke up and the camera was turned off. The computer was down. It was, I felt, I was like over four hours, I believe. Or just about four hours. And it is only like two minutes, uh, two and a half hours, or two hours and 57 minutes. It's almost like an hour is gone. I knew this was too good to be true. And yes, it is my belief system that people are coming into my home. There's, this hasn't stopped. If the police want to come and talk to me, let them. It is my belief system that people are coming into my home. There's just too many things wrong with me. It's been happening to me. For, for this to be just a coincidence. And this man that I can't get a hold of, because he won't answer me, he won't respond to me, Zachary Kanapka. He is. He knows what's happening to me, and I can't get a hold of him. He put me in this, and I can't get a hold of him. 
these people don't stop. I'm going to have to start dropping names of what the fuck really happened to me. He knows. He spoke of these things. Within a couple of, like a week or so, he started, he was telling me these things. That they're threatening people, they're threatening their families. And this was back in 2020, before all of this shit started with me. They're threatening their family, threatening them, threatening, you know. Um, and this is what's happening. They keep threatening me, they get to me anytime, anyplace. They've actually used those words to me. Now, you may want to say, well, he planted seeds. People plant seeds in my head all the fucking time. The people who get in your face and threaten you, cuss you out, do all kinds of things. How come don't, those don't stick with me? Why is this one sticking with me? And all this other shit that's happening to me? Uh, I don't think so. No. No. You want to give me, give me nightmares? Nightmares about my fucking business that I can't do what I want. I can't work the way I want. I can't earn enough money the way I want. Taking away this loss of freedom. This loss of freedom. That's one of the things the males in this group of people like to do. They take away the women's freedom. The women too. They like, they have a, they're like a slave almost. That they can sit down and just torment. Can you imagine if I were a teenage girl what they would do? These people would have, would have armed me to death, honestly. They would have armed me until I die, basically. I would have died of hemorrhaging if they had physically had me. Or they would have beat me literally with their hands and feet to death. They would have beat me to death. That's what they would have done. This is how violent these people are. When I say these people are violent, they're violent. They're coming into my home and doing this. You're telling me this is not acts of violence. If I were physically in their midst and had no defense, and they could have done whatever they wanted, they would have physically beat me to death by now. And I mean with the fist, they would have physically beat me to death. I have no doubt about that. This is the kind of situation I feel I'm in. And I'm, I, this is what I feel I'm in. Because these people are bad people, and I can't get a hold of Zachary Kanopka. I can't get a hold of them. But it turned off. Which means there's a whole hour that's missing. This, is hap this happens a lot. When you think you're peaceful and you got some sleep, something happened. This has to do with the video, the being turned off.